Yo, what's up guys? So we got some more V-pop today with my boy Masu or girl I don't know if it's a guy or girl yet. That's just I'm gonna leave it a mystery But we also got featuring with Masu is rum and knit two names I can pronounce and then the song title uh, There is accent marks over the E so I don't know how to do the eh properly But I'm gonna try my best so I think it's Kem Duyen I don't know. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. I'm, I'm learning. I'm getting there. I call this one of those shaky picture tracks where the background stays the same, but you just hear the music and maybe some sound effects cause the screen to change. Anyway, let's get right into it and see what it's all about. Ah, the camera shake ones. It almost sounds like it's being played on a record player. I like that. And there's the Masu elements. So I know it's going to be EDM. Sounds like it's going to be a slower one, though. Ooh. This one makes you feel like you're flying. It's very ethereal. You feel like you're in space. Leaving behind with my silent dreams. And we do have captions. It's almost like it's it's like a hollow whistling. So let's see which way we go and go with this. I don't know the kind of drop. This is Masu's style, I'm getting it though. Like that specific type of synth sound. Yeah, and he lowers it a bit. Yeah, yep. Yep. This is like pure EDM. When I say pure, I don't mean like musically, I mean it makes you feel pure, feel good. <laughs> I'm guessing it's rum and knit, left and right. <laughs> Waiting for you, knowing that I can never be close to you. That's really sweet, but hurtful. Your fragile beauty is like a rose. Wow, I still missed it. Getting goosebumps from this. Pass one. This is kind of a baby making song, don't get me wrong, that's not a bad thing. Some people just want to make babies. <laughs> it's probably because the it's rum talk and your eyes make me drunk. Ha! <laughs> that's not funny. <laughs> It's just so pure and feel good, and these guys are so good! And now we're gonna get back into that Nasu style that we know and love. Oh, but it's a mix-up. Throwing in those mix-ups. And it complements their vocals so perfectly, it's not overpowering them. And now he's luring more elements that we heard throughout the song, right on top. This is really good. And look at these boys! I think it's gonna be right here. <laughs> ah. All was left with my dreams, my illusory dreams. I'm still finding the happiness that already drifted away. No, it's not true! The happiness with that one person drifted away, but you'll see someone else drift into you. Don't give up hope, Rumnit or Masu. <laughs> Fantastic track. So, it, like, I was saying this earlier, it's supposed to be super pure, it just makes you feel great. But musically, what makes it so creative is the fact that you have these elements of EDM, and with that, you know, as a producer, you can raise the levels of intensity in a song or lower them. But Masu got it perfectly to make sure that he didn't overtake Rum or Nits. Is it Nit or Neat? Not sure. I'm going to say Nit. But overtake their voices. It's supposed to be something that helps carry them. Almost like their voices are like a message in a bottle and the lyrics are written inside. And the waves are those levels of synth that brings it to the beach that you're standing on. How's that for a metaphor? Woo! 
what makes this brilliant is it's almost like a teaser trailer for everything else Rum and Knit has. And by that I mean, in this track, we hear their voices, don't get me wrong, but it's a small sample of what I'm guessing is a huge vocal range that they can hit. We haven't heard their higher pitch voices, I'm not sure how low they can go yet, but what we haven't heard is the power behind it. And the reason is, is this track didn't require power. It wasn't one to be overwhelmed with the power of their voices and the intensity. It was supposed to be the one that you drift away with them and just kind of go to your own place to relax to study. It's it's not one to really get you amped up like if you're going to the gym, running, or you know getting ready to go Black Friday shopping. Uh, it's not one of those tracks. I really do enjoy it though because it shows the spectrum of Masu. And I'm getting a better idea every time I listen to a new track of Masu's style. That doesn't mean Masu is stuck to it, but it helps me get an idea of what to expect and Frankly, it's a really good style. It's super unique, super refreshing, and from a non-Vietnamese speaker, and just hearing how Vietnamese is inflected and how it bounces around the vocal cords, it suits the language really, really well. Regardless, I think if it's northern or southern, uh, I'm not sure if it's a dialect thing, or I haven't really gotten the whole picture, or I am not used to it, so I don't know of the slight differences that you may hear, but this is just my experience as an English-speaking dirty American. <laughs> Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like. It really helps. And please subscribe if you're new. I plan on doing more V-pop. Still gonna continue with my K-pop boys up here and girls. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, bye.